Hi, Will Flash from the Microsoft Office Division. And as a part of our Customer Executive Chat Series on Office 365 adoption, we have a unique opportunity today to talk to John Hill from Vance Technology, whose organization recently transitioned to Office 365. And to take advantage of this new communications and collaboration solution, we're going to use link video conferencing. So I'm here in Redmond, Washington, and John is joining us in Oak Brook, Illinois, at the Vance office just outside of Chicago. So let's get started. Hi, John. Thanks for joining us today. Real pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself and about Vance Technologies. Well, I mean, I'm, uh, my name is John Hill. I'm the CIO of Vance and I've uh, been with the company now for about a year and a half. Um, Vance Technologies is uh, about a $2.1 billion organization with about 9,000 associates worldwide um, with business in about 21 countries. Um, the company used to be part of uh, that was known as Engineered Products Division of Goodyear and was spun out about, you know, five and a half um, years ago as a private you know, company, primarily in the business of um, manufacturing engineered rubber products. And so that would include things like conveyor belts, um, a whole variety of, of hoses, industrial hoses, power transmission products, fan belts, um, rubber track, um, air springs, um, again, all, you know, engineered rubber products. What got you guys interested in cloud computing? Well, I mean, as the, I joined the company, as the company was looking at um, really transitioning itself from being, you know, a multinational enterprise to being operating much more globally and also looking to take advantage of using information technology to allow the company to really work more effectively as a, a collaborative global organization. And so, you know, you know, given the need to move quickly to generate results very, you know, very quickly as well, um, you know, cloud computing, from my per experience and perspective, is really one of the best strategies to do that. And so, um, Office 365 as a cl collaboration platform, you know, was um, clearly one of the first things we looked at in that journey. Well, you mentioned that being the first one you looked at, and I appreciate it. I think that uh, given cloud uh, opportunities, uh, there are many choices out there in terms of alternate solutions. What made you choose uh, Office 365? Well, I mean, I, I think there are a few things. One is it's, uh, you, know, you know, obviously the heritage of Microsoft has focused on the enterprise and uh, providing, you know, products that, you know, almost everybody was, was used to in terms of operating with the Office product um, was, was one point. The other is, you know, I think Microsoft has taken the cloud very seriously with Office 365 in terms of delivering a very robust multi-tenant, you know, product you know, which wasn't, you know, the first ge uh, first generation, but something that really, you know, was strong and robust and, and ready to, you know, support a, a business, that, a global business like ours. And, um, you know, we had been on Lotus Notes and uh, in an outsourced, um, you know, if you will, on-premise application, and, um, and the company didn't have a good collaboration platform. And so with Office 365, not only were we able to, you know, update our mail system, but able to take advantage of the enhanced collaboration features of Link, as well as SharePoint, and frankly, you know, get it an update to, um, you know, the newest versions of Office, um, which at the time when we moved was um, Office 2010, and now, you know, and with, uh, again, the virtues of the cloud, you know, solution, moving to Office Pro Plus in the 2013 version as a kind of automatic progression, you know, taking advantage of what the cloud has to offer. How was the migration to Office 365? It actually went really well. Um, you know, I'd say you know we set the direction, um, engaged with uh, Microsoft and um, your part, the partners of Microsoft last uh, February, and completed the migration by the end of July. You know, so we you know moved over you know 3,000 people you know to Office 365 um, in a in a very short period of time. In fact, the final migration all happened over one month. Um, you know, and I think uh, it was a very positive experience um, where. Yeah, you know, in fact, yeah. You know, as I mentioned, you know, we're really looking to drive a, a transformation of of the IT infrastructure and capabilities of the company generally. And I'd say that at, at that point in time, that the move to Office 365 is really a symbolic success of that strategy. You know, providing touching everybody and providing you know everyone in the company with a taste of of what was to come, as well as enhancing their own individual productivity. Well, you'd mentioned uh, Pro Plus and some of the latest versions. Uh, what are some of the, the features that you like the most, some of your favorite features? 
Well, you know, I, you know, I'd have to say um, that you know, one is that, and again, that's probably even had the greatest impact on the company is just Link and the and the collaboration capabilities of Link itself, um, the ability um, to through presence to immediately see that somebody's available. Whether you know, I'm like getting ready to go to bed at night, checking my email, and all of a sudden I see that somebody I wanted to touch base with in China is actually available online. You know, that ability to immediately engage in a chat, open up voice, video, share the desktop. You know that. You know, uh, those set of features, I should say, has, has really changed how we as a company, you know, communicate and, and um, you know, and I, and I love it. Um, you know, some of the other things, I think it's the actually, you know, it, it's the fact that by being a cloud solution that, that we end up benefiting from the ability to get updates quickly and smoothly. We're about to, you know, migrate to the Office Pro Plus 2013 version, you know, and, um, and the fact that that just comes along as almost a single one-touch installation as part of the cloud service is is a feature and a benefit. You know, it's a way to keep current at almost uh, no cost. Uh, you've, you've kind of alluded to this, and I like how you talked about features to benefits. If I could take another crack at that question, you know, what are some of the benefits that you're seeing overall in, in moving to Office 365? Well, let me think. I mean, there there are a few that immediately come to mind. Um, one, an obvious one, is uh, the fact is we saved a lot of money by going to Office 365. In fact, I'd tell you that uh, that from what we had spent on email alone, you know, we saved about 40 percent, and then we're able to have the benefit of of enterprise SharePoint, you know, Link for everybody, the upgrade to the newest versions of Office, you know, essentially, you know, for free, you know, so so real, you know, dramatic improvement in, in infrastructure and capability at less money. Um, I think another benefit, which you know, is 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 really keen, is you know that the bill, uh, the benefit of Office 365 from the standpoint of being a business enabler. I think I've talked before about how it it really helped you know set the stage for some of the other IT transformation that we put in place, but also you know just the speed with which people are now able to communicate and the robustness of communication you know and collaboration using you know Link using SharePoint um, you know is is something that is really accelerating you know, business process and benefits around the globe. And and I may have mentioned that, you know, we have a shared service center in, in Manila. You know, the ability of the, of the people, although they may be in Manila, to collaborate and work with their business partners in you know, all the countries around the world, you know, seamlessly with Office 365 and Link, you know, it really has helped collapse time and space. Um, I think a third benefit, which is, is worth mentioning, is that you know Microsoft has really you know by been an excellent you know service provider you know and by you know moving to Office 365 in the cloud is is perhaps you could say part of the cloud paradigm but I don't have to have for those services the same number of technical experts on staff you know to provide excellent service and Microsoft has has done a good job in providing that operations and that 7 by 24 reliable delivery of a really a platform that people want to think of as dial tone hmm. Well, John, this has been great. I want to be careful of your time. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk about uh, Office 365. No, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure.